So, I might be in my element, but in South Devon, Ashley was about to be taken out of his comfort zone to see if he too could connect to creation. I've been enlisted for a day's work on a farm. The people here say that working with the land and animals is not only good for the soul, but can actually bring you closer to God. But they do start at an ungodly hour. I'm not going to lie, it is absolutely freezing here at the moment, but so worth it when you check out this view. I've come here to visit a farm, but this isn't any normal farm. Hey, 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 come on! This is Pennywell Farm, run according to the biblical principles of caring for animals and the land where all creation is treated as sacred. And I'm being put to work straight away. So we've got, um, we've got two Highland cows. Yeah. Uh, we've got Sweet Pea and Iona. Livestock supervisor Hannah gives me the safety briefing before we open the gate to a field full of one-ton grass eating machines. You should always let an animal feel it's got somewhere to go and not entrapped. So what do you mean by that? So giving them the opening. So the first thing we'll do is you give them a path to, to go down. Okay. So you go and open up the gate so they know they've got somewhere to go. And it'd be a What's call it sign. So you say, come on then, quite oh, loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the start. Come is, on then. That's it, you yes. got it. Put on that. I know, you can see they're looking. That. They're looking, they heard. That base. They did. It's a bit of base. <laughs> OK. <laughs> So into the field we go, and I think they can sense I'm new to this. Give a little shout. Hey! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I just thought I'm in. Hut! Come on! Come on then! They're looking, they're looking. I feel like with the wellies and the jacket, I'm really getting into the swing of this farming life. The idea is to create a connection with the animals, but I don't think I've quite got the hang of it. Come on then! But eventually, I did get them to move. If you're not used to herding cows, it is a bit intimidating, but um, overall, yeah, good fun. I mean, there's one left, and I think Hannah's expecting me to go, so I'm gonna go and <laughs> herd her. No pressure, let's do it. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Come on. Come on. High five. Good work. Yes. These cows respect you. They do, so I respect them, and they respect me. You are a boss. <laughs> I'm not sure if they respect me, though. I might need a bit more practice to build a relationship with the cows, but I am developing an appreciation for the environment I'm working in. It's just so peaceful, isn't it? It really is. You know, it's, it's so peaceful coming down here and, mm. and doing things like this with them and moving them around and just the general, like you say, the atmosphere is just yeah. it's incredible. Very yeah, fortunate. Yeah. I mean, I can tell that you absolutely love what you do. It's a passion. Is it's it? It's not a job. It's a passion. Yeah. You don't wake up in the morning and thinking you got work, you know, yeah. at all. It's the atmosphere here. Um, it's just absolutely incredible. The peace, the quietness, and just the aroma walking around the farm. There's no tents or anything yeah. like that. It's just so placid and things. Right, Hannah, should we get the cars back in? Let's do this. <laughs> the farm is owned by Chris and Nikki Murray, and it's open to the public. Their Christian faith influences the way they run the farm, and to Chris, it feels like a calling to be here. I always had this tug and pull towards the countryside. And I just, I've even stopped doing farming and I went lecturing in agriculture, thinking, yes. and I was drawn back again. I get the sense from you, Chris, that there really is spiritual significance to what you do. Oh, very much so, and all that we do 
is actually to point to God's glory and to honour him. And uh, the other thing I find exciting is uh, serving. I mean, it's so much it, uh, to serve other people and to serve, uh, serve animals. Nice yeah, to see you. to meet you, mate. Do come in and see the Penny on Winter Pigs. Part of their success is down to some very cute little animals unique to this farm. Chris's son, Angus, is going to introduce me. Uh, Look at that pig. They're not bad, are they? The team have been breeding these pigs for nearly 30 years to help the local community and visitors learn more about the animals. So this is Ruby in here. Yeah. And she's mum to the litter, just tucked down here in the corner Look in their own them. nice, lovely nest. And they're about three weeks old. I never thought I'd say this, but these pigs are really cute. Yeah, they're seriously <laughs> cute. But they are not just cute to look at. Visitors are encouraged to interact with the pigs. The idea is to form a connection and bond with the animals. I feel like I'm nursing a human baby. And this is the key. You can see here the character of them is, is unbelievable. Yeah. They're so friendly, naturally. Yeah, they are. It's certainly calming and relaxing, not just for me. This one's falling asleep. Once they drift off, you're stuck there. Yeah. You can't wake a sleeping pig. But these pigs also play a more active role on the farm. So this is the, the pig racing track. Mm. Every day, 2.30, down here on the racetrack, there'll be a crowd lined up along the racetrack. Yeah. And then this is where, where the pigs live in their house here, and this doubles up as the start and the finish line. The activity provides exercise for the pigs, and their welfare is of paramount importance. There's no racing today, but to get them prepared for the visitors, I'm helping Angus to train these three little piggies. Are we ready? You're going to take the bucket, Ash. All right, so, all right. So, so I'm not feeding them, I'm just running with it. Yeah, we're just going to run with it for now because the feed, that's the treat. Like you train all animals, you know, dogs, it's a treat at the end for, for good behaviour. So, Piggies, I've got your food, you ready to run? I'm so excited. So that is David Beckham, Piggy Minaj, and also Will I Ham in there. As a city boy, this is a first for me and it's opening up a new way of looking at things. He's just roughing at the mouth, look. <laughs> He's looking pretty keen. <laughs> All right, let's go. Come on. Come back. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on, come on. There we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, no. <laughs> come on, come on. Come on, but we can keep going, it's fine. There we go. These pigs are so fast. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh. Yep. There you go. Come on, David Beckham. Over you go. Go, last one go. in. Little treat on the ground. That's it. They love that. <laughs> I've got no breath. <laughs> Them pigs. They are so fit. They are so fast. <laughs> <laughs> they would outpace me any day. <laughs> Who would have thought that you'd have so much fun running around with a bucket of pig food and having them chase you? Yeah. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's good. I'm exhausted. But not everything that happens here is so physical. One of the things that makes this farm different and really helps the workers and people from the wider community feel connected to each other, creation and God is the farm's weekly worship. Lovely to meet you. What can I get for you? A black coffee, please. Cool. The gathering creates a strong sense of community for those who come. It's just giving, and actually I find it much easier to serve. So this morning I'd find it much easier to be here serving coffees and I would be just floating around because it gives you a real purpose. And actually you get a lot from serving. Coming to Pennywell is church for us. Okay. It's not an organised church, but this is where we get the fellowship, we get the, you know, the worship, we get the, the teaching, and wow. it's just church for us. Just love it. Love the presence of God. Yeah. Love to just meet with other believers, and uh, it's been a real encouragement. And how long have you been coming to these mornings? Uh, probably about four years, four or five years. Okay. Yeah. So I keep coming back just because it's an amazing way to get fired up and yeah. stay in love with Jesus, really. It reminds us um, to encourage that all scripture is God breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness. Amen. Let's sing number 26. 
Being from London, it's so fast-paced. It's very transient, the relationships, but what's really striking about this, it's just such a strong sense of community. I wonder if some of the big cities miss out on that. Something quite special about it. It all feels so ingrained in everyone here. So I'm surprised to find out that farm owner Chris is a fellow Londoner. But 30 years ago, he felt a calling to come to Devon and create this farm from scratch. When we came here, there was nothing at all. There was no water, no electricity, no buildings, no trees, just a God-given vision. And that vision has been guided by Chris's faith. We run Pennywell with biblical principles, and the Bible is the most wonderful guide how we should do things. One of the ways we can feel truly at one with the natural world is to contribute something to it, and the farm does that through planting trees. When our daughter was born, I wanted to do something special, and we planted a wood, little woodland for her called Henrietta's Wood. So planting trees, planting woods is something that's uh, a, a, just a lovely thing to do. Chris regularly invites people from the community to plant their own trees, and I'm helping Rachel with hers. So you are planting this tree in celebration of something. What is it that you're celebrating? Well, we've got a new grandchild expected. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> we'll come and visit and show the baby as he or she grows and uh, just, yeah, see that wonderful tree. And now it's my turn. And Chris has given me two trees to choose from. Well, you've got beech and you've got ash. Do I get the ash one? You get the ash one. Yes. There you are. Thank you. Right, there's a whole dug view over here, Ashley. Nice. Put some compost in there, mm -hmm. in the bottom. You don't go around planting trees in Peckham. <laughs> <laughs> you can use your foot now, just tamp it down nice and firm. Thank you. What are you planting this celebration for? Potentially a bit corny, but I just think life. This is a tree that's going to spring forth and continue to grow and sprout, and I guess that's how my life is at the moment. It's flourishing, it's going well, so, yeah. Excellent. That's a very good thing to celebrate. Yeah. Cheers, thank you. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> Being here really has been a significant eye-opener. I've met this community led by Chris, who truly have found the connection between their spirituality and their practical work agriculture and seeing how their faith outworks and what they do is actually really inspiring and more than that they have genuine community and friendship something that i think everyone can do with more for the people here like many before them things like this truly make them feel closer to god <laughs> 